three years ago, Free Women started the European Women Payment Network. And who are these Free Women, uh, Sylvia Mensdorf Puli from uh, ACI? <laughs> That's uh, Nadia from the fair, Martha McGandy Fisher, and myself. Uh, we got going, uh, got together, we found each other. Martha really asked us, and, and we started it up. And I think it goes to show what the power of it is. That was a couple of years ago, and now it's hugely, I mean, look at these hundreds of women in the most beautiful environment. What was the goal to start a network? Uh, we felt that there weren't that many women in, in payments and that it was for hard to find each other. We also thought that if we build our network, we could build and help and support each other. And that was really what drove us to, uh, to do, get the network going. Yeah. So three years ago, there's a huge amount of women. There's a lot of support. There's a lot of enthusiasm. And you also, you have a lot of services as the network, right? You can have, uh, you, you help each other. Uh, there's all kinds of uh, meetups. So what, what kind of activities are there? So the country meetups are really, uh, I think, something great that brings together the ecosystem in a country where we drive that women build a network and meet them s each other in the country. And it's also a great way to contribute so you can become a country ambassador. We have a sponsorship program. We're starting a leadership program. Yeah. And we have different committees because at the end of the day, the network is not for profit. So we do that uh, additionally to our normal work outside of office hours, so we need all the help we can get. Yeah, but you also have an official helping program, mentoring program, yes. right? Yes, Stan does that work? Stanley runs that. So uh, we have, you can apply to be a mentor and you can apply to be a mentee and get that going. So that is uh, for a period of six months, and I think that's really nice. Um, so, okay, so that is really, did you expect it to go so fast? No, really not, actually, to be honest. Uh, it, you know, I think the support is fantastic. And it goes to show what the power of, you know, just getting a couple of people together. An idea which really, which time had come. That's what I conclude. And there's a lot of diversity, a lot of different women here. Uh, and it's even a couple of men. A couple of men, which is great. So I really love our male ally program because I think that's where yeah. it really comes in. Support so I cannot be a member, I can be an ally. You can be a member as well. Yeah, how and does it work? You are, you are a male ally already. I'm definitely an ally. Okay, let's talk about, uh, you're one of the women in tech uh, who is doing really well in payments. You're uh, the general manager of uh, ACI, which is huge, right? I mean, we have a lot of banks, but we don't have a lot of uh, ACI. So what does ACI do? So we're a software company specialized in developing payment uh, software. We kind of begin where the user interface ends and we end where core banking starts. And everything in between, all types of payments, we facilitate them. And we've been doing that for over 40 years. Everybody thinks of fintechs as startups. We've been a fintech for 40 years. Yeah. And you come from the Silicon Prairie, the Silicon Prairie in Omaha? In Omaha, Nebraska, yes. Okay. And it's, uh, how big is the company? So we're about 4,500 people worldwide. 50 offices in more than 30 countries, very diverse company. Uh, we're listed at the uh, Nasdaq Stock Exchange and we have about 1.1 million. Billion. Billion, sorry, billion, thank you very much, uh, of uh, revenue. Uh, yeah, and, and, a, and a value of three billion. But you have about, how, you, there's only two big parties, right? So you have FIS and you have you, and that's, that they do most of the, uh, the middleware uh, for the banks. The payment processing. So if you look globally, there are only a couple of companies that do similar things that we do globally. Um, what we find is, and, and we are able to use that knowledge and bring that to customers. And obviously there are lots of banks and processors and also merchants that we support with that global knowledge to bring that together for payments. What a nice way to say it. Hey, do you get any serious competition nowadays? Because you've been around forever. FIS has been around forever. Is there any interesting new companies coming up which you go like, wow, they're really competition? Well, the interesting thing is there's always something happening in payments. Yeah, so you have to keep going. And it's actually, what would life be without some competition? But, but you, the, You're not going to mention any names now? Of course not. The, the right. way okay, I, fine. The way I look at, at the payments ecosystem is you can be your par each other's partner one day. You can be each other's customers the next day, and then you're each other's competition. But because payments is such a chain of events, you really need to work together to make it and make it happen. I'm not going to get any new interesting uh, 
potential company which is going to disrupt you. Okay, hey, how about women in payments? How, how, how uh, strong is the position and how did you see it change in the last 20 years that you were in this industry? So um, when I got started, um, there weren't a lot of women around, especially on the technology side. Now more and more when I go and... You're a chemist, right? Yes, I'm a chemist. So, and how did I end up in payments? That's a long story. Um, but, but when I used to go into customers like processors or banks, I, it was usually men that I met. Now more and more there are women around. And then also at ACI, we have a, a great leadership team with lots of great examples of women that are really powerful leaders and enable diversity in the company. Let me ask you, how many people, how many females on the, on the management team? On the uh, executive board, there are actually five great leaders. And if you look at our development... You mean women also? Women. And of how many? How many are on the executive board total? There are about 12. So it's quite a good percentage. And, and the, the great thing about it is, for example, our development organization, which is about half of our employees, is led by a lady called Eva Ratakis, and she's awesome. So uh, what, about in the Dutch, uh, what about in the Dutch organization? Oh, there's me. <laughs> That's you. In Europe, actually. No, You're in Europe. Okay. This was 100% female. Yeah. No, lucky for us not. It's all about diversity, right? How boring would the world be if we were all the same? So do you see things improving? Uh, if, you, if you look at for, for women which want to have a job on the top, is it harder or is it uh, the same or is it still uh, very difficult? I, I think it's becoming easier because there are more role models. And, and also, I, I, I felt there was a great remark made today. Somebody said, I hope we don't need an organization like this in five years. And that's why I'm involved. I think we probably still will. But it's a great goal to make yourself unneeded, right? Well, I've heard all kinds of stories from women that they say, uh, I was on the management team, but all the decisions were taken in the bar. I took care of the kids at night. And all the bars, uh, the bars, all kinds of things were decided. The next day, the decisions were made. There's still a lot of male dominance uh, in the top. Yeah, but I think that's where you as a woman also need to be part of having a great environment. So, for example, my husband is a great guy and he's just as emancipated as I am. So he'll do the cooking, he'll do the washing, he'll do the shopping. All right, uh, Sylvia, let's hope that the EWPN is not necessary anymore in five years and everybody says, hey, male we're male, female doesn't make a difference anymore. I'm glad to be here. Thank you for uh, making this network work. Thanks for coming, Avert. <laughs>